Hey guys, welcome to Jobertech channel. In today's video, we're going to explore how to use Go Router's redirect feature to guide users to the appropriate screens after logging in or signing out. We currently have a Firebase phone note here that we have developed in our past videos. And here is the architectural diagram of our phone note, which I have explained in my last video about Flutter phone note architecture. The link to the video is in the description below if you're not familiar with it. What we've done here is to create a landing page where we listen to the auth state changes and redirect the user to the sign screen or home screen depending on the value of the auth state changes. This works as intended, but what if we want to use GoRouter package to handle our app's routing system? And what if we want to verify certain conditions first before redirecting the user to home screen? For example, we only redirect users to home screen when they have registered a display name. Otherwise, we'll guide them to the name registration screen. These are the most common challenges that we want to address by introducing GoRouter and its redirect feature into our app. So our goal here is to create a routing system for our app using GoRouter package and utilize the redirect feature to redirect users to the correct screen when certain conditions are met. So the first thing we need to do is to add GoRouter in our passpec.yaml file and then construct our routing system using it. And take note that we'll be using Riverpad as our state management solution here. So if you're not familiar with it, I have a video on how to use Riverpad providers. I will add the links in the description below. So let's go ahead and add GoRouter into our app and code our routing system. Alright guys, we now have our routing system in place. So what we're going to do next is to create the redirect functionality of our auth flow. Because as you can see, after we log in,
we are stuck here on the sign in screen because our routing system doesn't know what to do after we log in. So what we're gonna do is to give our routing system an instruction on what to do after we sign in and after we log out. And the way to do that is to use this redirect method of go router. So let's go ahead and create this redirect method in another file. Okay, but before this redirect method can be called, our Go router needs to listen to a certain state so that it knows when to invoke the redirect method. So how does this work? In the previous implementation of our authentication, we have a landing page that is listening to the auth state changes and returns sign-in screen or home screen depending on the value of the auth state changes. This concept is similar to what we are trying to achieve. We can also let our Go router listen to the OAT state changes, so that when there is a changes to the value of the OAT, the redirect method will get called. But what if we don't want to run our redirect method immediately? Perhaps because we still have to process something like saving data to our database before redirecting the user. This is now where we need to create a class that will function as a detector and transmitter to the refresh listenable of our Go router. Let's call it app router listenable. But looking at our current flow diagram, where should we position our app router listenable class? When should our transmitter send a signal to our listener? Well, obviously, after all processing is done. So positioning between this OAuth repository class and sign-in service class isn't ideal. Because as explained in my previous video, this sign-in service class is our backstage manager that communicates to various repositories and service classes. After signing into our OAuth repository, it may still interact with the Firestore service to update something or engage to other classes for various reasons. So obviously, after finishing all its tasks, and returning the final result of his job. That's what we need to listen to to determine success or failure. So we will position our app router listenable between sign-in service class and sign-in screen controller class. This is now the diagram of what we are aiming to achieve. Take note that this can be improved, especially when your app grows and needs more space. But with the requirement of our app, this is already good enough. As you can see, this is our app router system that uses Go router package and encapsulates all our routes. This centralized routing system is advantageous because if you encounter a problem with routing, you already know where to fix it as they are all contained in one place. And here is the Go router's refresh listenable that is listening to the app router listenable class and triggers the Go router's redirect when it receives a signal. After that, 
This redirect will now process the logic that was written inside and return the correct screen based on the result it processed. So I hope this flow is clear. Please comment down below if there are any confusions. And for seasoned developers watching, I'd love to hear from you guys. How do you handle routing in your projects? Do you have any additional tips or optimization to suggest for this setup? Let's have a discussion in the comments below. Your insights could help a lot of developers. And with all that said, let's code our theory to see if it all works. Take note that to make this class able to transmit a signal to its listener, we need to extend the change notifier. Because our listener is expecting a type of listenable, and change notifier has extended this listenable class, so we know that we are in good hands. Alright, we already have our app listenable class in place, and what this does is only to give a signal to our listener when login or sign out is successful. So make sure you shouldn't be adding any additional logic here, so that you won't be violating the single responsibility principle. We also have set our listener here, and here in our redirect method. What we're doing is checking if the current user is null, then return sign in screen. If the user is signed in, we further check if they have a display name. If they do, then return home screen. Otherwise, we return name registration screen. So that's it with all the codes that we have written guys. Let's go ahead and test our app if it's working as expected. There you go. We are correctly redirected to the name registration screen because our user account doesn't have any name at the moment. So let's go ahead and register a name, sign out our account, and try to sign in one more time to see if we will be redirected straight to the home screen. There you go, everything works as expected. 
That's it for this video guys. We've successfully implemented GoRouter's redirect feature in our Flutter application. This not only simplifies our navigation logic, but also makes our code cleaner and easier to manage. With this setup, we can now gracefully handle user authentication and direct our users to the appropriate screens based on their auth status and additional conditions such as the presence of a display name. It's a powerful tool that can significantly enhance the user experience in your Flutter apps. Thank you so much for tuning in guys. If this video helped you out, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with your fellow Flutter enthusiasts, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more awesome content.